Welcome everyone. So today I'm going to show you some exercises to help free up your hip flexors and your hips and just loosen everything in the pelvic area out. So all you need is one of these cork bricks and if you don't have a cork or a foam brick you could use a stack of cookbooks from your home too. So we're going to place that brick or books on the floor and we're going to stand up onto it with our right foot and we're really going to spread the toes so the whole of the foot stays really active. There's a little softness in the knee and we push down big toe, little toe and heel. I'm going to take this leg off the floor but keep the ankle flexed and we're going to have our hands on our hips and notice how this hip has a tendency to come up we're going to level it out and then all we're going to do is swing the legs and we're just going to let the leg just be as free as we possibly can so when you first start there'll be a sense that you're using the muscles but then as you get into it as the leg gets looser you can just allow it to almost be on a pendulum the standing leg is having to work quite hard to keep your balance so that's really good for your foot and your ankle strength and then if you want to free up the shoulders too and give the lungs a nice workout you can just let the arms be free just as you would if you were walking just letting that leg swing fully backwards and forwards and you could do this for as long as you like really should feel really good so the second part to this is that we're going to flex that foot and now just using the hips, I'm going to dip it down so it almost touches the ground and lift it up again. So you can see, using the black bit of my top, how it's the hip that's moving. Now I'm not bending this standing leg, it's staying exactly the same. And you probably will start to feel it in the muscles over here on the right hand side. So you might do 10 of these little lift and dips just to strengthen the pelvic ligaments because we want them to be nice and loose, nice and relaxed but also you want them to be toned. And then we'll let go and we step off. We just do some nice loose pelvic circles here. Okay, so switching sides, <clears throat> stepping up onto the brick with your left foot, spread the toes. Remember, big toe, little toe and heel, getting that tripod effect, a little softness in that knee. Hands up onto the hips, let that leg go. Try and keep the hips as equal as you possibly can. And we're just swinging that leg really nice and loose here as loose as you can <laughs> don't worry if you lose your balance it's all about just trying to get loose and let go of any gripping that happens during the day so especially if we sit we often grip really tightly around our hips and our bum and this is just a really great way to loosen that out and so remember you can swing your arms too letting that go really nice and loose you should find the more you move the rest of the body the more these guys get really loose the more that left foot's having to work to get nice and strong and that's what we really want because our feet are the foundations of the body the stronger they are the more stability we have and the more looseness in the upper body okay so coming back in flex that foot now and then from here we dip it down almost touching the ground and we lift it back up again and we come down and we come up so really finding your concentration there working into the hip muscles over here trying to get as much movement into that hip area as we possibly can and then release step off just shake the legs and the arms loose this time so always getting everything nice and loose and you can take big circles there so with the knees and the shoulders and the arms and everything nice and loose and hopefully your hips feel great now, everything in your body feels really nice and loose and I will see you for another video again soon.